Hi, and good morning, welcome back to the channel, The Caravan and Us. I'm back up at the storage yard and today's the day that I repair the uh, 12 volt electrics between the caravan and car. Uh, so the weather forecast is for a bit of rain, uh, but I will film as much, hopefully everything, uh, we all know what the uh, British weather forecasts are like, but I will try and film everything, but first I've got to set up I'm going to put a, uh, a tarpaulin down on the floor under the caravan uh, just so I can crawl about and do whatever I like without uh, doing it on the mud and gravel. So here goes. So I've raised the caravan up at the front just to give me more room underneath. I've put a, uh, a tarpaulin down just so I can uh, lay on that. Don't need to get uh, damp and mucky and I've got everything I need. I've pulled the car up to approximately where it's going to be just so I can initially get a, a length for the cable to go under and this is what we're looking at uh, the existing cable, hope you can see that goes under, well into the chassis uh, there is some clips in there so I'll see where I can join it, which is probably going to be somewhere down there. Uh, I may do it at the back of that deflector. Uh, somebody said, why don't I put it into the, uh, into the front locker? I am going to look at it to see if it is easier. Uh, obviously it will be more waterproof. Uh, well, additional waterproof, the box that I've got is, is a waterproof. Initially I wanted to see the length of screw that was put in the floor underneath from the manufacturer. Uh, this is one from a deflector shield that's under the caravan. I just wanted to check the length of it. I didn't want to go too short, but I didn't want to go too long. Um, so I've got these screws which match in length. Uh, they've got the fast fast thread and they're a wide thread so they will grip into the it's uh, marine ply under the caravan so these will be absolutely perfect for the job so this is cable uh, that I have to take out and cut uh, that's just a tie wrap there and underneath it's just held on to the chassis with these clips uh, which literally just clip off the chassis uh, so I am going to do that now and uh, cut it down. Have a look at the options of where to put the box underneath the caravan. Uh, this with the hole in there is the bottom of the uh, gas locker. Well, that's where the uh, gas bottles sit. Uh, and that's obviously the chassis. Now, for screwing the box to the underside, I can't get it close enough to the chassis because of existing wiring and obviously wiring that's got to stay uh, I had thought about putting the box behind either that deflector or that deflector uh, if I put it behind that the uh, big double deflector there I've got to have the wire uh, coming across the caravan uh, past the gas pipe there um, so I'm not over happy with having it just stuck in the middle of the caravan. That one there I think will be a bit too too far down. Um, so what I've opted to do is that's the the cable. It's clipped there. I've looped it just across the top for now. Um, but I will fix it with clips onto that that wood fascia there and bring it up into the into the locker through there and then within the locker that's where the cable will come up I'm going to mount the box there I may do it higher up uh, and then the cable will go back out the same return that across that wooden fascia oh. 
which will bring me back to here. Uh, now, I've got some of the clips to clip it back to the chassis. Uh, I've got three of those, so I will run that back through the chassis, out to the front. So this is the cable that's from the back of the uh, electrics in the caravan, which I need to strip down, which I suppose is one of the first jobs that I need to do. Now you don't want to go right through, all we're doing is scoring uh, and when you bend this over it will split down so that's that's that off to get all the cables and I'm going to neaten all these up so just go through these just take the ends off they probably will get redone again uh, when I work out the lengths for the uh, for the actual box these are the ends that were trailing on the floor uh, and obviously we don't need ends like that we, don't, we can't really strip those down and get a neat end So that's all those neatened up. Uh, just quickly on this, I did think when I purchased the uh, these waterproof grommets, the ends, the hole in the end, was not big enough to accept. So I just had to drill those out, only a bit. It was literally a couple of millimeters, and that was it. Uh, but the cables go in there quite tidy now. So that's those all stripped down to the. Uh, to the length I require them to go through the box uh, all I need to do is just do the ends of the cables uh, just for the connector box so I've just feed the cable through there and cable clip it to that wooden fascia there so these are the cable clips that I'm going to use uh, cable runs through there screw through there there like that holding the cable very very secure so that's that all neatly cable clipped to that front fascia under the caravan and it goes up into the locker there and that's all the, so the end of the new cable stripped down I haven't uh, stripped the ends down as yet I've just cut that through so just in case I need to trim it a bit more when we get it inside the box so I've just I've hooked or plugged in the new the new cable and I've just temporarily run it uh, where it's going to be uh, so it goes through the chassis Up through the chassis there, comes up over the top of the chassis and then runs alongside there and into the uh, into the locker box. That is just to give me an idea of the length that I need. Now the cable that's over, there's not a great deal there to be honest and I think what I'm going to do is mount the box a little bit higher and keep the length of cables as they are. Um, that will give me the opportunity, uh, if I need to, uh, just lengthen it out of the front if I haven't got enough. So that's both cables now in. I've loosely put some cable ties around the original cable which is screwed to the underside of the caravan. And I'm going to cable tie the new cable to that. I was going to run that across the bottom um, but I don't want to put too many screws in and that'll be a, as firm a fix as any. So I'm just going to drill uh, four holes in the waterproof box, one in each corner. 
so it's quite tight in here um, but I'm gonna put the box around about there uh, just so there's enough room and it's got clearance if I need to put anything in there may put it a little bit higher but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to film me actually putting the connector blocks in um, but it, it is a very straightforward thing you're literally putting connectors in uh, the wires into the connector blocks uh, through there but I think I'm gonna to have to do that off camera so typically it's just started to rain for reference this is what I'm, I've just got this in the front locker which is a list of all the the numbers and the associated coloured wire uh, you'll notice some have got two colours against them and that is because the new wire has different colours um, but only from number 8 to 13, 12 being empty uh, so I've just got that as a reference so that's all the wires connected from the existing wire which goes into the caravan I've just got to connect the, uh, the one that comes out to the car and the sun's come out how fantastic, brilliant. So that's it, that's all cables connected into the connector block with the corresponding colours. So I just need to uh, screw up the grommets on the end of the box and uh, fit it to the sidewall. So on the back of the box I've just put three strips of mastic sealing strip screw it's just not hard up against the wall uh, so it'll be screwed in well um, but it'll just give it a bit more protection as well that's it we're all in place we're screwed in I've just the front cover to put on and underneath we're all cable clipped and cable tied in that's where it goes into the caravan or into the locker box should I say and the other side where clipped onto the chassis so we're all hooked up well obviously without the tow ball uh, but don't need that on for this just testing so indicators on the car we've got side lights on the caravan Going round to the rear of the caravan. Obviously, I've put the hazards on. Uh, hazards are working. Rear lights are on. Uh, I've tried the fog. Can't do the reverse light, obviously, because uh, I am on my own up here. And uh, I can't do the brake lights. I've given them a quick test. So, that's the 12 volt cable between the caravan. And car repaired I put the box in the front locker it was a bit tight in there to wire it up but it's it's gone very well to be fair out of 10 for hardness I would probably say between 5 and 7 that's purely because it is a bit in parts it's a bit fiddly uh, I would I would strongly recommend that you really do prepare yourself for it uh, or prepare, go through it in your mind what you're actually going to do uh, look at it before you assess, assess the job really before you actually go ahead and do it see which way you're going to run the cables, how you're going to run the cables what you're going to clip it with get all your screws ready uh, your cables ready uh, everything really I think that has been a really good job I think it's probably taken me I know with filming it's taken longer but without filming I would say it's probably an hour to an hour and a half there or thereabouts they, that really is approximate uh, I've been up at the caravan for just over two hours so I, I, I'm assuming that it's just over half an hour putting the camera into place and so on and so forth uh, but really do prepare for, for it don't rush it leave yourself plenty of time I've given myself all day to do it to be perfectly honest uh, I was hoping it wouldn't take all day uh, but I did allow myself all day uh, to do it so I didn't have no need to rush whatsoever 
I could do it, just take my time. I knew it was going to take a little bit longer filming, uh, but all in all, I just wanted to take my time, get everything right, and it's gone. It's gone pretty well. I think it was the right decision to put it in the in the front locker. Uh, I I'm more than happy. Uh, fantastic. I really, really enjoyed doing it. To be perfectly honest, I wish I hadn't had to do it. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. I really do hope it has been of help, even if it's just to one person. That'll that'll suit me fine. <laughs>